everybody, we are at the crazy premiere of 645 here in New York City at Regal Cinemas. I am here with the director and writer, Craig Singer and Robert Dean Klein. Guys, this is an amazing turnout. Congratulations. This is crazy. Thank you so much. You so much. We were just saying, we weren't expecting this. We were, we were really uh, thrilled and uh, honored and feel privileged to have so much love and support for our film. So did you think when you made this last year that you would be standing here right now? No, no, not at all. No, as a matter of fact, when we were posting during the pandemic, we weren't sure what was going on with distribution, with uh, certainly with theaters, mm -hmm. and the world was completely turned upside down. So we really took the time to finish the film properly, and we're extremely proud with the with the with the film and the finished product. So Robert, you are the writer on the film, mm -hmm. and you wrote this crazy experience where the day repeats itself over and over and over. And then the world became a day that repeated itself over and over and over. What was your inspiration? And were you aware that you'd be the reason we were stuck inside for a whole year? Well, it's funny. I mean, the first draft of this was, what, 15, 16 years ago? Yeah. And I think it's because, I mean, the timing of it, of a day repeating and what's going on with the world, I mean, it just seems like, I don't know, maybe we are to blame. Maybe it is our fault. I blame both of you. I blame both of you for this crazy experience. I must say, I, I had the luxury of being a part of the producing team on 645, and I, I adore you, you know this, and Robert, you and I have become best friends online. And I think that the most surprising thing to me was how much of a community our, our cast and crew became. And also shooting in Asbury Park, how important was it for you and you to film in Asbury Park? Well, I love, like, the area was appropriate for the aesthetic of the film. I like to be able to sleep in my own bed. The last one I shot, I was in Romania, and I'm an insomniac to begin with, so if you have the advantage of getting that extra 30 minutes of sleep, it can make all the difference. And lo utilizing local um, resources, and people were extremely generous with the production in terms of goods and services. It really, every dime ended up on the screen, so we're really fortunate in that regard. And Asbury Park's been really good to us, and we've shot, how many, how many times have we shot in Asbury Park? Yeah. I mean, so we're really comfortable with the area, and. It's we're great. Love Asbury. Yeah. What inspired you guys to make a horror film? Well, we're, we're kind of uh, genre agnostic. We, Robert and I have been working together for over 20 years, and we have uh, kind of a, our cup runneth over with uh, eclectic scripts from Paradiddle to uh, Faker to, uh, and we happen to love and respect the genre films. So we had some good luck with our first film, uh, Dark Ride, which we shot at Universal, starring Jamie Lynn Sigler, and then we decided to uh, write a few other scripts and we'll see what happens with those. Horror films just seem to fit into an independent film world easier than, than most genres. So uh, you kind of make your bones on it, but I, I love horror films, so that, that's why I run. And what are your biggest inspirations to do what you do? Uh, I don't know, I've just... On the spot, let's do it. I don't know. My dad taking me to films in the 70s and falling in love with the, the greatest decade arguably in cinema's history and he, they were very liberal with regard to what types of films I got to see so everything from you know The Godfather to Papillon to Clockwork Orange really kind of helped inform the films that I love. Um, I saw Night of the Living Dead in a drive-in movie theater when I was in the middle of the woods and I had reoccurring nightmares for about 20 years and that kind of maybe showed me the potency and the power of this particular genre and it's the only genre that's not star dependent it's scare dependent and it's the only genre that crosses all borders. So comedies always don't cross borders. Horror, if what's scary in Russia is scary in Curacao. I, I have the same inspiration. My father took me to films every weekend as a divorced dad and uh, really got me into writing afterwards. And, um, and he's right over there. So this is awesome. I'm not looking in the camera now. It's okay. Hello. So glad to be able to, uh, to have all my family here to see this. It's, it's unreal. It's amazing. Guys, this has been such a blessing. I'm so grateful to be part of this project. It's been a dream working with you both. And I can't wait to see the film. And we'll see you inside.